Well, today I'm raiding the uh, wood scrap bin and making some little boat mod, little tiny toy boats for the dolls in the dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, just like our project last week when we made the drying rack, which I'm actually using today, this project was, it has two things in common with that. Number one, I happened upon a picture of these little boats while I was organizing magazines and getting sidetracked by looking at them. And number two, this is made entirely out of my scrap wood bin, which I think is awesome. I love being able to dig stuff out of my scrap wood and use it. So today I've got, I've done some ahead and I'll show you those when I get all done. I've got some scrap wood. This looks like quarter by quarter inch uh, basswood and I've got a craft stick. I've already measured that one. I'm going to measure this one on camera. This is my clear ruler. I want to have a pointed end. So I'm going to waste a little lumber here. Where's my pencil? There's my pencil. I'm going to measure down about a half inch from the end. And then I'm going to measure about, probably about another half inch past that. We need these two lines so that we can cut our, our front of our boat and then our uh, back of our boat too. So we're going to take that first line and we're going to line it up. I'm using my easy cutter, uh, but you can use a saw, you can use however you safely cut wood. By lining that up there and then lining the other end of that line with that cut with that blade. That gets my point in the middle. Now I'm going to cut it off like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I mark this one the same way. Anything any bigger than this and the cutter would have a lot of trouble getting through it, but it can handle this. It cuts it a little crooked. Mine cuts a little crooked when it gets thick, but that's okay. Now, we are going to use an, if I can get that picked up again, and I'm working on a small tile. That way if I need to use my, my work surface before this is dry, I can just move everything. And it's easier to clean. Sand this up so that it's fairly neat. And we are going to get paint all over ourselves. And this had the little sticker, the little barcode sticker stuck on. I tried to peel that off. It wouldn't peel off, so I'm just leaving it. I just painted over it. Now, I have some craft paint. I have some white, which is just ceramic coat white. I have some tomato spice, and I have Avalon Blue. I have these paints because this is what was sitting out waiting to be put away. That's literally why I chose these. So. I'm going to put some white paint out on my tray. I am going to put a wet wipe because this is going to get messy. And I'm going to paint these and I'm going to get paint all over myself. I actually on one batch of these put on a um, latex glove and just finger painted. It was actually much quicker but I didn't feel like going clear back in the other room for the glove. Now and if we leave a little paint here, this is going to make this stick to my tray, which will make it a little easier to paint the second coat later, which I'll do off camera. Painting the bottom is optional. Let's see if I can get this in one coat. No, probably not. Now be sure and, and wash your paintbrush. Now I also have a couple of beads. This bead I already painted white, so I'm just going to paint it with a color. And then I have this dowel I already painted. And I just painted some stripes of the colors. And 
I'm using my rack. And this one I've used up the part I painted. So I am going to get out a little red paint and a paintbrush. I thought I had, oh, there's my other paintbrush. I didn't actually use the white section, so I'm not going to paint a section white. And we're just trying to get the sides of this painted. Well, let's see, let's paint this one with red. A little more paint. Ow, see if I can do this without dropping this. I love working on a tile because I just use a scraper and scrape off the dried up paint when I'm all done. All right. Here, get some blue paint out. I'm gonna make a section of this blue. That way, I can cut off for I don't know smokestacks, buildings, it whatever you think they are on your boat. In there, put it in our rack. See if I can get this one painted with this without putting a coat of white on first. All right, so this paint all needs to dry, and I need to go wash my paint brushes and my hands. And when that's all dry, I, I'm actually going to put a second coat of white on these before I come back. When that's all done, I'll come back and we'll build some boats. All right, these have now dried overnight. Um, this one I totally missed one side of, but that's okay. We can fix that. Why can I not pick this up? All right. Use my paint scraper and kind of pop these off of the tile. And this is what I use to clean the tile when I'm all done, too. So let's start with this guy. Um, yeah, and I'll just touch that up after, if I even use that. So let's see. I've got a couple of others I've made. I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to get some glue. I've got my tacky glue. I'm going to put that out like that. And I had a question about this doing the two glues. This is it's just a super glue. Use your favorite super glue. This happens to be Gorilla Super Glue is my favorite right now, but use whatever you like. I'm going to put a dot of this right where I want to put that. Avoiding getting my fingers in it. Just takes a drop. Now I'm going to pick this up, dip it into here. What happens if you're not familiar with this method of gluing? The tacky glue is to hold it long term. The super glue holds it short term. It kind of acts as a clamp. So we don't have to clamp it. All right. We are going to put this one. I'm going to work on both of these at once. It gives that super glue a few moments. Yeah, we're still under camera. And I know it's probably hard to see these white pieces on the white tile, but that's what I work on. And I don't have a dark colored tile handy that I can work on top of. All right. Put that like that. Now let's take piece of this. And let's cut a little piece like that of the red one. And then let's get down to the blue. Get down covered down where I'm at. Let's take a longer piece of that one. And I didn't use any of the round dowels, so the other day And you can let your imagination just go wild on these. You know, you you can probably come up with a lot better ideas than I do on this. All right, I am going to put a drop here. I've got an idea, not sure how it's going to look. And I'm not trying to copy any specific kind of boat. I'm just making these up as I go. 
since that's kind of rough on the bottom. Pull that off a little bit. Kind of aiming for getting this kind of square with the rest of the boat and in the middle, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world. Where did that was blue? Let's get a let's get a red piece of this actually. I think I want red. If you cut very slowly and point it down like that, it usually your piece of wood you cut off will land in a controlled manner where you can find it. If you hold it up in the air and cut it with that tool, it's you might have your stuff flying everywhere. Okay, then I'll have to touch up the paint on that when the glue is dry. My son's cat is currently trying to get up on my table with me, so hopefully he won't make a complete appearance here. And I think I'm going to just put one of those other pieces. I wish I had good enough internet to live stream some of these projects. It would be so much fun to have you guys in, having your input on what I'm doing. You know, where what color should I put here? What color should we put there? Square around. What do you want to see? All right. Oops, I forgot to dip it in glue. There we go. All right. These need to set up. When the glue is set up, I'll come back, we'll do some touch-up painting, put a little extra painting on, and then we'll have to let them dry again. Alright, so the glue has had time to dry, so now we need to touch up some paint. I brought myself some small paint brushes, and I've put some paint out. I'm just going to do that, and touch up the top of that. And then another thing, well, let's see, yeah. Another thing that's kind of fun to do, I have this gray. This happens to be storm gray. So let's get just a drop of that out. And you can just play. You know, this is there's no rules to this, really. This is just kind of whatever you feel like doing. One of the things I found kind of cute was to paint... I don't know. Windows? I'm not sure. Are those windows? They might be. So that one's done. Let's do the tops of these. I've already got this brush, so... You could even paint details on there if you wanted to. Now, you don't even have to get brushes out. If you've got spots like the top of this, the only reason I didn't do this with the blue is I had to get down close to the side. All right. Now, let's put some windows or portholes or, I don't know, maybe they're just decorations. And now that paint needs to dry, and when that's dry, I will come back and we'll look at all the different boats I've made in the last couple of days. Alright, so the paint on these guys is dry. So here's the two that I just did. I think they turned out really cute. And then earlier I had been playing with the project. I made this one. This is just one of those um, little pull plug things that they make that you can buy. That one looks like that. I made little dots around that. This one is very similar to to both of those kind of that. This one I didn't bother to put little windows on. This was the first one I made. And this one I I had initially made it without the little red on top and I thought it just needed something so I need to touch up my white paint there a bit. So that is our project for today. I think these little boats are so cute. 
They'd be cute in a little boy's room in the dollhouse or maybe even in a man's office or something. Just something a little different. Or in a little toy store or wherever. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Be sure and check the blog post. I'll have more photos over there. Uh, if you haven't found the, my Facebook group, be sure and look for it. Uh, the link will be in the description box of this video, as it is in all my videos. And until next time, I'll have fun with your minis, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.